when compared to the actual appearance of the universe, significant differences emerged, prompting questions about Einstein's accuracy. As we gaze upon the night sky, enamored by the stars and galaxies adorning the cosmos, a perplexing cosmic conundrum emerges. Despite its apparent simplicity, understanding how matter is distributed throughout the universe poses a daunting challenge. Enter the Flamingo Project, a groundbreaking computer simulation undertaken by an international team of astronomers. This endeavor, believed to be the largest cosmological simulation to date, seeks to unravel the evolution of the universe from the Big Bang to the present day. Built upon Einstein's general theory of relativity, the simulation's results suggest discrepancies with Einstein's predictions regarding the spread of matter over 13.8 billion years. This revelation prompts a critical question, was Einstein wrong? Einstein's contributions to cosmology were revolutionary, reinventing our understanding of space and time. His general theory of relativity, born in a Swiss patent office and matured in Berlin, offered a radical new perspective on the cosmos. Departing from Newtonian mechanics, Einstein depicted space and time as a unified fabric, warped by mass and energy. This insight provided a novel explanation for gravity, presenting celestial bodies as distorting the fabric of space-time, much like a weight on a trampoline. The theory gained significant attention following the 1919 solar eclipse, which confirmed Einstein's prediction of light bending around massive objects. Despite initial skepticism, Einstein's theory gradually gained acceptance, holding a revolution in scientific thought. Yet, Einstein himself hesitated to embrace the full implications of general relativity. The theory's wildest aspects, including an ever-expanding universe teeming with exotic phenomena like black holes and neutron stars, challenged conventional understanding. However, subsequent observations affirmed the validity of these concepts, confirming Einstein's prescience. General relativity laid the foundation for modern cosmology, yet mysteries persist. Questions abound regarding the nature of dark matter and dark energy, the universe's origins and ultimate fate, and reconciling relativity with quantum mechanics. Nevertheless, the theory's enduring legacy continues to inspire exploration, with astronomers utilizing bent light to uncover hidden facets of the cosmos. Recent efforts, exemplified by the Flamingo Project, leverage advanced simulations and machine learning to refine our understanding of the universe's evolution. Despite the complexities and uncertainties that persist, Einstein's vision of a dynamic, ever-expanding cosmos remains as captivating and relevant as ever. Scientists achieved a more accurate representation of these astrophysical processes through the Flamingo Project, which leveraged a supercomputer to execute simulations across varying cosmic volumes and resolutions. Notably, the most extensive simulation involved an astonishing 300 billion resolution elements, each akin to the mass of a small galaxy within a cubic volume spanning 10 billion light-years. This achievement is considered the most extensive cosmological computer simulation that includes ordinary matter. Matthew Schaller, also from Leiden University, played a pivotal role in the success of this endeavor. He explained that to make this simulation possible, they developed a new code called SWIFT, which efficiently distributes the computational work over 30,000 CPUs. In addition to providing unprecedented visual insights into the universe's evolution, the Flamingo simulations play a vital role in bridging the gap between theoretical predictions and the extensive data collected by advanced astronomical facilities like the James Webb Space Telescope. The current theory beautifully explains how galaxies evolve, but there's a problem. It predicts that they are more closely clustered together than they actually are. The new computer simulation, although much more detailed and taking into account the role of supermassive black holes, still depicts galaxies as more clumpy than observed. This discrepancy raises questions about the accuracy of measurements from telescopes or even the validity of cherished theories of physics. Professor Carlos highlighted the potential for a treasure trove of new information about the cosmos. The Roman telescope, for instance, will utilize a phenomenon called microlensing, predicted by Albert Einstein in his theory of general relativity. This phenomenon amplifies the image of a background light source as it passes near a massive object, enabling the detection of events like planets moving in front of stars. The Roman telescope's observing campaign, which will span five years, aims to uncover over a thousand planets orbiting distant stars, potentially setting records for the most distant exoplanets discovered. It could also shed light on the nature of brown dwarfs, neutron stars, and even elusive stellar mass black holes. Moreover, Roman's mission extends beyond exoplanet hunting. 
It will enable astronomers to conduct stellar seismology on millions of giant stars, observe icy bodies in the outer solar system, and delve into the mysteries of dark energy and the expanding universe. In addition to Roman, the European Space Agency's Euclid mission seeks to unravel the secrets of the dark universe by accurately mapping galaxy redshifts and studying weak gravitational lensing and baryonic acoustic oscillations. These efforts promise to deepen our understanding of the cosmos, from the earliest galaxies to the accelerating expansion of the universe. Universe The Next Generation Space Telescope is projected to spot a thousand neutron stars or more a similar process involving the most massive stars occurs to birth stellar mass black holes. But these are tougher to spot because they trap light behind a one way boundary. Called an event horizon, that means that if they are not surrounded by matter to feast on which they heat to incredible temperatures to emit electromagnetic radiation black holes are effectively invisible yet these isolated stellar mass black holes still have mass and therefore still warp spacetime meaning romans still use microlensing to hunt them when they pass in front of a background star roman will have investigate non-failed and non-dead stars too as it will allow astronomers to conduct stellar seismology on around a million giant stars through analyzing brightness changes as sound waves travel through their interior this could teach scientists more about the structure age and other characteristics of stars the space telescope will also have uses much closer to at home than these distant star systems watching as icy bodies in the keeper belt at the edge of the solar system beyond Neptune reflect sunlight or block the light from background. Stars as such Roman promises to deliver an incredible wealth of scientific discoveries vastly broadening our understanding of the Milky Way and painting an evolving picture of the ever-changing Cosmos besides Roman, we can also have high expectations for a mission from the European Space Agency named U. The telescope launched into space on July 1st. Uclid is designed to show scientists more about the dark universe. One of its main goals is to accurately map galaxy redshift the stretching of light to redder wavelengths as an object moves away from us as is the case as the universe expands in all directions Hubble's law tells us that the distance to a galaxy is related to how fast the expansion of the universe is carrying that galaxy away from us and the higher the recession velocity the more distant the galaxy and the higher its redshift therefore measuring the redshift tells astronomers the rate of the universe's expansion and the strength of dark energy as it accelerates that expansion the mission will look back to galaxies that existed as long as 10 billion years ago or more than double galaxies the size of this standard distance increases over time as the universe expands so bionic acoustic oscillations are therefore a standard ruler to measure the universe's expansion and hence the strength of dark energy at different eras in cosmic history that's all the information that we have for you today don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episode and be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always Improve as always thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.